Damas y caballeros, promociones Boristeca Boxing presenta este encuentro pactado a seis rounds en la división de peso medio. Six rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. Your three judges scoring. Max Zúñiga, Francisco Pacheco y Sergio Lechuga. And when the action begins, your third man, el tercero en la superficie, Fernando Rentería. Introducing to your first two fighters standing in the blue corner, wearing green trucks with white and red. His official weight, 160 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, vistiendo calzoncillo verde con rojo y blanco, con un peso de 160 libras. Professionally, he holds eight professional bouts, con ocho combates profesionales, representando Agua Prieta, Sonora, México. Javier Arsenal. And his opponent across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing black and white. His official weight, 160 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo calzoncillo negro con blanco, con un peso idéntico de 160 libras. Holding a professional record of 21 victories against six losses, two draws, and eight of his victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 21 victorias, seis derrotas, dos empates, y ocho de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Hailing out of Oakland, California, USA. Go get him, Tony Hirsch. And here is to give out the final instructions, Fernando Rentería. Muy bien, vamos haciendo una pelea limpia. Vamos a tener cuidado con los cabezazos. No golpes en la nuca, no golpes en su espalda, ni hago el cinturón, ¿ok? Choque los guantes, suerte. A lo mejor. Here we go, folks. Middleweight action here in Tijuana, Baja California, at the Salon Mezzanine. As we see Tony Hirsch of Oakland, California, with a record of 21, six and two, about to take on Javier Arsenal with eight total pro fights. Hirsch in the black shorts with white trim, Arsenal in the green shorts. And right away, Chris, you gotta be honest, there's a huge size discrepancy between these two fighters. A uh, huge size discrepancy and maybe even age. You know, um, Arsenal looks, looks to be a little young. You know, but you never know. See what he brings. S seems to be composed right now, trying to fight defensively. Tony Hirsch needs to take advantage and uh, prove that he's the better man tonight. Hirsch, 33 years of age, was the 2006 San Francisco Golden Gloves champion. And an odd fact, before he stepped foot in a professional boxing ring, he was actually a member of the Oakland Raiders and played for them for a little bit. And then after that, he was cut actually by the team. Uh, his spot was beat out by Philip Buchanan. And then he had a stint with the Arena Football League playing for the San Jose Sabercats. So an athletic guy, Hirsch is. Yeah, b definitely a big change of pace from football to boxing, both contact sports. But uh, you can't play boxing. No, you cannot. As Hirsch landing a nice up jab there as he backs Asenau in the corner. Coming in with thudding body shot, Hirsch's. And that's what Hirsch needs to do. Uh, Asenau seems to have a high guard. Keep going to that body. Keep going to that body. Asenau, you can see his face. He's wincing in pain as Hirsch lands a big uppercut. Asenau, though, putting on his best poker face. Absorbing the punches of Hirsch, but honestly, I, I can't see for how much longer he's able to take these big punches. And like I mentioned, he has a high guard, so that bo those body shots are going to be there all night. As Hirsch continues to work, landing punches of the body, two thudding blows there. And yeah, you can hear how powerful they were here ringside. Those things got to hurt.
Hirsch, though, getting some work in. This is the first fight that he's had this year, and the first fight he's had in 10 months. So wanting to get a good, good sweat in, maybe yeah, and getting these some of that rest off, right? In these type of comeback fights, you generally don't want to have the toughest of opponents. But right now, he seems to just kind of have a, a layup in uh, Arsenal. As we come to the final 10 seconds of round number one, Hirsch seemingly in control, landing combinations to the body of Arsenal. And Arsenal, to be honest, he made it longer than I expected. I'll tell you this. Arsenal got some cojones because he's in there with a guy who outweighs him by at least 10 to 15 pounds, a bigger puncher, more of a pedigree, more athletic. But hey, he, he's still in there and he's fighting it. And he decided to step in the ring and take a fight like this against Hirsch. Absolutely, you have to give respect to every man that steps into this squared circle. And right now, Arsenal, he has my respect. As we start round number two, both fighters touching gloves as Hirsch immediately comes forward and no, knowing that he has the size advantage against Asanao. But taking his time, and Asanao landing a glancing haymaker there and Hirsch giving him his props. And this round, Arsenal is showing that he, he's here to compete, he's here to win, and throwing punches as he did not in the first round. Hirsch's last fight came in his hometown of Oakland, California, getting an eight round unanimous decision on June 11th of 2016. As he lands another thudding body shot and down goes Asanao. And once again, it's the high guard of Arsenal. Somehow, Asanao gets back up. The crowd comes to their feet when he does so. Still a lot of fight left in him, but I think the end may be near for him as Hirsch, pressing forward, lands another shot to the solar plexus of Asanao. And Asanao visibly slowing down now. Hirsch backing Asanao with jabs. And Arsenal doing what he has to, getting on that bicycle. Survive this round. As Hirsch continues to dig to that left side of the body, which visibly you can see is now red, and down goes Asenau one more time. The fight is all over. Tony Hirsch picks up a second round TKO win over a very brave but outmatched Javier Arsenal. And it seems as though Arsenal is upset that the fight is stopped. But if anything, he should be thanking the referee right now. No, definitely. I don't think he would have been able to sustain that much punishment to the body coming from a guy that's so much naturally bigger than him. But you got to give him credit, man. I, I don't think there, there's too many people on this earth that would have stepped into the ring with a guy as big as Hirsch and gone in there at least one round. He lasted two yeah. rounds in there with him. Give him that round and a half. Like I said, Javier Arsenal has my respect and um, good victory for Tony Hirsch. As we see Hirsch here in the corner, he's visibly upset, shaking his head. It seems to me that he still wants to fight, but I don't think it's a very good idea there, Chris. And you know what? And a surprising thing, Chris, one of the cornermen actually was one of the guys that fought Escalante earlier here tonight. Well, only well, in Mexico, only in Mexico. That's, that was gonna be one of my responses is, what, what, what else can you say only in Mexico? Let's go ahead and make the result official. 
Let's go ahead and take it up to our ring announcer, Pablo Flores. Eh, damas y caballeros, este combate concluye con un tiempo de 1 minuto 45 segundos en el round número 2. We have the official time of 1 minute 45 seconds in round number 2. Declaring your winner by the way of technical knockout. Su ganador por la vía del knockout técnico. Oakland, California. Go get him. Tony Hirsch. And all of his KO wins coming within four rounds. And Hirsch now looking to continue his trek towards an eventual goal of a world title shot. Has faced notable competition in his past, but with this fight, you got to see it as a stay busy fight and him wanting to consistently have fights building up to a potential shot at a world title. Yeah, this will definitely help him move along, keep stacking up those wins, and that's what promoters look for. Wins, big wins on the record, and uh, hopefully uh, a world title contention for Tony Hirsch coming soon.